So I'm gonna give you some tips on how to grow on TikTok. Now I am so amazed with their algorithm. Like it's so crazy. I grew so quickly. I have about 20,000 followers on TikTok, but on YouTube, and I've been on YouTube longer than it's been a long time on YouTube. But on YouTube, I'm still stuck between 2,000. Something's wrong with YouTube's algorithm. I don't know. <laughs> but YouTube need to take notes. <laughs> Today's video is on how to grow on TikTok without any following. And I am so amazed with TikTok's algorithm. Like, it is so crazy. I'm going to brag a little bit about them because, like I said, my channel grew. My channel. Whatever you want to call it. My, my TikTok grew so quickly. I'm going to brag a little bit about that at the end. But let's just jump straight into this video. Every video I've been seeing about how to grow on TikTok has always been niche down, niche down, niche down. And... I'm not a fan of niching down. I post what I want to post. I post whatever comes to my mind. Mind you, you never know what's going to go viral. Um, I have two viral posts on TikTok and that's how I got all my following. But I did not niche down at all. So my channel, YouTube, well everything is about the same thing which is lifestyle, beauty, entrepreneur life, entrepreneur life. <laughs> in vlogs and literally I post the same thing on each of my platforms so whatever I place on YouTube is gonna be a long video but I will cut pieces of that same video and then I will recycle that content on all of my social media platforms that goes into my first tip which is post consistently now everyone says you have to post about three or four videos a day um, you can do that, just don't get burnt out. I say at least post at least three times a week. And once you start growing, well in my case, once I start growing, I start posting more and more and more and more because I'm like, this is, you know, let's see how far I can push it. So I just suggest that you post consistently and my motto is don't let your followers forget about you. I try to post every day. Um, it seemed like it seemed like a lot, but like I said, I recycle my content. So whatever I post on one platform, I will post on the other, and vice versa. And also, I want to do a video on how I recycle content. Um, each platform is a little bit different. Like for instance, if you post something on TikTok and you try to post it on Instagram, you have to make sure there's no watermarks because you know we save a TikTok video, the watermarks, TikTok, and all that. Instagram won't promote it. So I'm gonna work on a video on tell you guys how I recycle my content so the next tip is to use hashtags and i know a lot of people are already say do not use the fyp or for you page because you won't get shadow banned and if you are shadow banned it only lasts for a week so keep that back in your mind so when somebody says you think it's shadow banned it's not that long and it's you know it's gonna go back to regular so anyway <laughs> use hashtags um try to lose about well i use about six five or six it depends on what i'm posting and also to find the perfect hashtag, this is what you do. You go to Discover when you're on TikTok. Go to Discover and type what you're about to post. Like, for instance, if I'm going to post an entrepreneur life vlog. I'll put entrepreneur entrepreneur, or something like that that falls in there. And there's other videos that fall in that same category. You can also go to their videos and see what hashtags they've been using. And if it's working for them, it will work for you. When you post in a video, you want to do break up your content as in like do one video at a talk through video the next one just do like a mini vlog with a trending sound okay okay let me back that a little bit so do a talk through video on tiktok they offer three minutes now um you can do six seconds one minute and like i said three minutes so i suggest to do each one so if you do a three minute video, the next one do like a mini vlog. I love doing mini vlogs. Change it up a little bit. And also add a trending sound. Um, usually I will save the popular music. So for instance, if I'm scrolling on TikTok and I hear a, a, a sound that is always, a, well, a song that has always been playing like a lot of people's um, video, I will go to that sound and I will save it and then when you go to my saved videos, I have a lot of dis different sounds I can pick through when I'm ready to upload a video. And also, you don't have to play the music. This is what I do. I'll, like, for instance, like I said earlier, that I'll use my YouTube videos. So, if I have a song that's already playing on my YouTube video, I'll still post that. And then the trending sound on TikTok, I would just, uh, I would edit it and put it all to zero. So, it's still under that sound. Does that make any sense? <laughs> it makes sense. <laughs> 
But yeah, she just put always a zero or pitch to one. You can barely hear the trending sound and your music is still there. So that's it of my tips on how to grow on TikTok organically. I know it was short, but I like short tutorials, go straight to the point and all that. And if you don't believe my tips work and you don't see my growth on TikTok, if you don't believe me, go check out my mom's page. I told her to do the same thing that I did and she grew her channel and she has a thousand followers now. And a thousand followers is that's how you closer to your way to get monetized. You can get on live and all that. And that's another way um, to grow your um, to grow your following too. Go on live. Their live is totally different than any other live and I freaking love their live but it is a little strict. Um, I, so let me explain it. So their lives, like when you're scrolling, you can just hop in anybody's live. You don't have to follow them or anything. As in on Instagram, you have to follow somebody to go on their live. TikTok's live is way better and it's easier to grow, especially if, you, if you're on if you're on live for over 30 minutes to 45 minutes. It's gonna be so many people joining your live and all that. So and that's a, a, that's an easier way to grow as well. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. My channel is usually about entrepreneurial life, like I said earlier. But I also just do, I just show you guys everything about my life. I am open book. I vent to you guys and all that. So yeah, that is it. And I'll see you guys in my next vlog.